attention to Matt. The only thing he likes better than looking in the mirror is the sound of his own voice. Oh, uh, I'm sorry, did I get it wrong? You two are actually more than just friends. You're dating, um, bald. Maybe, maybe I should return at a more propitious time. No, Spinelli, I want you to stay and Matt to go. Oh, you don't mean that. If I meant it anymore, I would have to have security throw you out. I might just do that anyway. It appears I've intruded on a most volatile conversation, one that I care not be privy to. No, Spinelli, Matt is repeating things out of context. I told him that you were my very best friend in the whole world. And that you two would never date. I was trying to be really nice about this. Were you? Really? Let me be clear. I wouldn't go out with you if you were the last man on earth. I will never make that never ever go out on a date with you. Your eyes are gorgeous. <laughs> Even when you are trying to despise me. <sighs> You. The design named Dr. Drake is right, though. You view the jackal as a companion only. As opposed to what? A man who could rock your world? Spinelli, you're making way too much out of this. Matt is an arrogant jerk. And despite your professed annoyance with the conceited one, the telltale signs of physical attraction appear to be manifesting. Me attracted to Matt? How shallow do you think I am? Well, would, would you indeed spurn him if he was the last male member of society? Matt is only cute in like a nails on a blackboard kind of way. I just like fighting with him. It's exactly what I feared. The constant bickering is but an excuse for Luckily this Luckily for me, I will never be stranded on a deserted island with Matt, so we don't have to worry about whether or not I would spurn him. But you admit that the conceited one engenders a spark that is lacking in your intercourse in your interaction with the jackal. Spinelli, nothing is lacking about you. Your actions belie your words. You are my very best friend ever. But you're about a billion other things, too. You're brilliant and sweet and loyal and true. You accept me for who I am, and you don't try to change me, even though I can be selfish and take you for granted. You're a wonderful Spinelli and irreplaceable to me. The only thing Matt Hunter could ever hope for with me is a meaningless round of mattress tag. Two or three tops, but can't you see how what we have is so much more than that? Spinelli, I, I, was, uh, I was actually just coming up to ask Maxie about you. What is the nature of Fair Smith's inquiry? Well, now that you obviously seem a little calmer, do you want to tell me about the troubles between you and the feds? While the Jackal is greatly relieved to avoid permanent incarceration, he is deeply concerned for Stone Cold. Why? Jason's not in custody, is he? No, but he is the sole reason that the Jackal is going to hack another day. Did he happen to tell you what he did to be able to get you released? No, and don't bother asking him. He probably won't tell you any more than he told me. You braved the icy stare of Stone Cold to ask him such questions? Winifred set you up for a false Spinelli, and you fell hard. I mean, the next thing I knew, you were being hauled off to the PCPD in handcuffs. Yeah. Where your protective parent warned you to remain uninvolved. You were scared out of your mind, and I was sitting there feeling completely useless. I was terrified I was going to lose you. Then Jason walks in, and an hour later, you're released. I wanted to thank him, find out how he did it. But of course, he had to get all grumpy and rude. So I think maybe all of us should just leave it alone. All right. Fine, don't believe me. I'll prove it to you next time you're at the office. Boys are so much more ticklish than girls. I accept your challenge. And if you're right, I will go out on one date with you. Happy? I have to go. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Spinelli, why are you covered in ink? Uh, the fashionista's printer was indeed having problems, but they are rectified now. Thank you. I think I inadvertently overheard you making an overture to a member of the male persuasion. The conceited one, perhaps? Oh, gross. Like, I would ever talk to Matt like that. No, it was uh, Federico from New York. Sometimes I flirt with him, so he gives me samples from his collection. Mm. But your enticing words are never backed up by action? You mean, do I go out with Fetty? No, no. He knows it's just a game. I'm sure that only reinforces your opinion of me as a user. No, no, I, I, I dare not criticize the necessary evils of the workplace. My own errors in judgment nearly condemned me to a life of imprisonment. And compromised my friend and mentor. Spinelli, that is not your fault. I, I should not have been so arrogant as to believe that I could not be hacked. Nobody knows shoulda, coulda, woulda better than me. I mean, I mess up all the time and you rescue me. Yeah, but 
Your mistakes are not of the same magnitude as mine. Millie, don't worry. I'm here for you, and so is Jason. It's gonna be okay, I promise. A certain phrase springs to mind. Things will get worse before they get better. I know it's 